Hi guys, I thought I would jump on here and show you how to make a child's mask. I'm also going to have the sizes to do a, an adult mask, a younger child, and then a middle child, and give you some different ideas if you can't find elastic. So stay tuned to the end for those tips. you guys but I'm a very messy sewer so excuse the crazy but first what we're going to do is cut out a rectangle um, that is going to be 14 by 7 so here we go together with the inside facing each other so inside out and you're gonna just put it together like this so we've got the longer down and now I'm just gonna pin it you can use more than one pin if you want I've been doing this for a while so I got it pretty down with just one what we're gonna do is sew along here and then stop and do um, go back and do a double knot and then come back to here and sew and make this is gonna be our pocket for the air filter which I think is pretty cool because you have three layers of protection. It's a double layer of cotton fabric and then you have the filter. So we're gonna go ahead and sew that now. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the iron and just iron open that seam that we just made. You really don't want to skip this step because when you turn it inside out, this is what keeps it looking nice and uniform. So here we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I cut two pieces of elastic that are six and a half inches each in length, and we are going to hand stitch them to each corner so one will go here like this and one on the other side but on the inside so all you're gonna do is take it and place it inside and so and then you're just gonna knot it and you're not like it's not a certain amount of stitches it's just enough where you feel it's like it's secure um, we're gonna go over it with the sewing machine as well. This is just an added strengthening to it. Now one thing that is important to make sure when you're going down to put this in the other side that it's not twisted. If it's twisted, it you have to restart. So trying to make sure it's not twisted. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that to all four corners. tricky part. After you've sewed all four corners with your elastic, you are going to sew along both of these openings. The important part is to remember you want to sew the elastic here to fortify it, but the rest of it you don't want to sew the elastic when you're sewing the material together. So you need to make sure that it is pushed inside and you can, I hold it with one, uh, you'll see, I'll hold it with my thumb, hold it back so that it is not getting sewed in. And those, these are the parts that's gonna go around your ears, so obviously they need to be loose. And now we're gonna do that step on both sides. Okay, 
Okay, now that we have that done, the little hole that we have here, we are going to use to turn this right side out. And then you're just going to take something and straighten out the corners. Here we have our mask. All we have left to do is do the pleating. Now for both the kid sizes, I'm doing three pleats and for the adult size, I'm doing four. Okay, so first you're gonna iron your piece, get all the wrinkles out. And you can measure, but I just eyeball it. And you just fold it and make sure that it's even along the top there and iron. And then fold it again. So I guess techni technically this is just two pleats, but there's three little sections. And then the adult one would have four. Now what we're going to do is go and sew along both sides of these pleats. is to cut the loose threads that you have. So go ahead and take a minute and do that now. Okay, so here's our finished product. Here's the front. These go behind your ears and the pocket is right here. And so you would just put a coffee filter in there. You can take it out anytime you want, throw it out. And then these are machine washable, which I think is awesome. So. You could reuse these over and over and especially in the times that we're in right now it's nice to have that just little bit of extra protection especially for our kids now to get to the elastic tips now i have a few ideas and i've asked people and they have had great ideas as well number one ace bandages grab an ace bandage and you can just cut strips and use that bungee cords. If you cut a bungee cord, it's filled with elastic. Now I haven't tried these two yet, but I, if I run out of enough elastic, I will. Thankfully people have been really helpful with helping me get elastic so I can make these. I've made almost 80 so far in the last three days. And um, yeah, every store is sold out of elastic. And so you have to kind of get creative. Another idea are hair ties. One of my friends is making them and she uses hair ties and she said it's working really well. And just a second, I'm gonna grab something and show you a couple more ideas. Okay, another idea, I went to Walmart and seriously every single elastic was sold except for this. And it's just like a waistband elastic. And I bought it and cut it to seven inches for adults, six and a half for the middle kid and the younger kids six. I cut it and then just did a quarter of an, an inch cut and got a lot out of that and this I could find. So that's been really working well. And then another thing are these nylon headbands. These are for like, I use them for bows for kids, but if you use these, you're gonna do an inch shorter than the elastic because it does have more give. One good thing about them is say it's for a kid and it's a little too big, you can knot it um, to make it tighter. And I think that's pretty helpful. Anyways, I hope that these were good tips for you guys. If you have found any other elastic tips, share them in the comments below. Also, you could do ties. You could use shoestrings for ties, t-shirts. I read a lot of people are using t-shirts and someone mentioned that as well and I thought that was a great idea. Um, there's so many things, guys. But get out there, make these masks, make them for the healthcare workers or sell them on Etsy or in your local Facebook groups. It's been really fun to make them and do different patterns and just be a little more unique with them. Um, but I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much.